week we celebrated 305 Day, an annual celebration that started in 2013 as a way to honor the unique culture and diverse community of Miami-Dade County. And one local woman is doing just that through a book that looks into the lives of locals who gather at the Ventanitas, or those coffee windows across our community. Here's my conversation with author Daniela Perez Mirón. Daliana, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So we just celebrated 305 Day. What does the 305 Miami mean to you? The 305 is such a special and unique place to live. It's a community for me, and that's why it was such an honor to be able to celebrate the launch of the book on 305 Day, because they're both such uniquely Miami things. If you're not from Miami, you might not know what 305 Day is, and the same goes for Mentanitas. There's such a beautiful, emblematic symbol of what it means to be Miami and so representative of our culture, and that's why it was such an honor to be able to celebrate on that day. So you celebrated Ventanitas, which is the book that you authored. Tell us about that and what was your inspiration? The book started when I was doing my master's in London. I saw an ordinance from the mayor of Hialeah during the pandemic telling people to stop hanging out at walk-up windows, they called them. And I mentioned it to my classmates, thinking it was so funny, and mentioning how they had to put out an official warning on the letterhead of the mayor saying, please stop hanging out at the Ventanitas, but they had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> so it's kind of that classic thing. I knew that Miami was special, but you don't realize how unique it is until you leave, and then you realize there's no place quite like Miami. So from then, I started doing some research. I found Carlos Frias' article in The Herald, and he was so nice to talk to me for a really long time and introduced me to Felipe Valls Jr., whose father founded Versailles and opened the first Ventanita, a classic. And he was telling me what their place is in the Cuban community and the larger community of Miami. And from then on, I started doing interviews with people, and I realized how special the stories are behind them and the people that operate them who are really pillars of the community. And I love that it, they're positive voices about the 305, about Miami. You know, Ventanitas has become a household term, at least here in South Florida. And, you know, many presidents have made their stop and candidates who want to become president have made their stops. So in terms of notable people that you have inside the book, what can you tell us? We have so many Miami legends. There is conversations with Carlos Frias, former editor of former food editor of the Miami Herald, Felipe Valls Jr., whose father founded Versailles, but also some of the classics that, if you're from Miami, you'll know to love, like Islas Canarias, mm -hmm. Mary's Coin Laundry, Los Pineros Fruteria, and also some sort of more modern versions, like Tinta y Café, Sweet Melody. So there's a little bit of a mix of everything. There's even a Michelin star Ventanita in there. So there's a little bit for everybody to enjoy to see kind of the depth and breadth of what Ventanitas offer in the city. What do you wish to accomplish when people buy your book? What do you want them to get out of it? Ventanitas are really an only in Miami phenomenon. And they're really a window into the lives of the people that own and operate these windows and gather there, not only for coffee, but for human connection and warmth. And so I hope what people take away most from this is those connections. You love Miami, I love Miami. What would you say sets us apart from the rest of the country and the world for that matter? There's so much that sets us apart, it's hard to list. Um, I think the Hispanic community that we have here, it really is a melting pot from all over the world and that comes through not only in the Ventanitas but in the warmth that you feel from people, and there's also this kind of informality that comes with Miami. One of the interviews I did, he said, I love Miami because it's too hot to be formal here. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And I think that's why I love Miami, too. There's such a special combination between the people, the languages, the food, the culture that's irreplaceable. I agree. Well, the name of the book is Ventanita. Daniela, good luck with it. Thank you so much. And it's a pleasure to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.